this question, we're told that the resonant frequency of a circuit containing an inductance coil L and a capacitor C is given as 1 over 2 pi root L times C. And you're asked to calculate the approximate percentage change in the resonant frequency when the capacitor C is decreased by 3% and the inductance L is increased by 4%. So we're given that the resonant frequency is equal to 1 over 2 pi root L times C. In other words, the resonant frequency is dependent upon, or is a function of, the inductance L and the capacitance C. So we could rewrite this expression as 1 over 2 pi root L times root C. And as before, the overall approximate change in the frequency is equal to, or is approximately equal to, the rate of change of the frequency with respect to the inductance times the small change in the inductance plus the rate of change of the frequency with respect to the capacitance times the small change in the capacitance. So first let's consider calculating the partial derivative the FDL the rate at which the frequency changes with respect to the inductance when the capacitance is kept constant. Well if the capacitance is kept constant we could write the frequency as a constant time 1 over root L, where k is equal to 1 over 2 pi root C. Differentiating L to the power of minus a half will give minus a half times L to the power of minus 3 over 2. Because if we take 1, which is minus 2 over 2, from minus a half, we get minus 3 over 2. So therefore, the F dL is equal to k times minus a half times L to the power of minus 3 over 2. Now, L to the power of minus 3 over 2 is the same as 1 over L to the power of 3 over 2. And L to the power of 3 over 2 is the square root of L cubed. And the square root of L cubed is the square root of L times the square root of L times the square root of L. But the square root of L by the square root of L is just L. So therefore, L to the power of minus 3 over 2 is 1 over L times the square root of L. So substituting this back into the expression for the partial derivative, the FDL, we get minus k over 2 times L times root L. But k is 1 over 2 pi root C, so substituting this back, we get the following expression. So if we rearrange, bringing the L to the front, we get the FDL is equal to minus 1 over 4 pi L times root LC. So using the same approach, we could calculate the partial derivative, the FDC, the rate of change of the frequency with respect to the capacitance. So this is exactly the same, except we differentiate the frequency with respect to the um, capacitance. So applying the same logic that we applied for the partial derivative of the frequency with respect to the inductance, we get the rate of change of the frequency with respect to the capacitance is equal to minus 1 over 4 pi times c times root lc. So we now know the partial derivative, the FDL and the FDC. So we need to work out the small changes in L and C. And in the question, we're told that the inductance increases by 4%, which is 4 over 100 times L, and the capacitance decreases by 3%, which is minus 3 over 100 times C. So the L, the small change in the inductance, is going to be 0.04 times L, and the small change in the capacitance is minus 0.03 times C. So substituting the small changes and the expressions for the partial derivatives into equation 1 gives us the overall approximate change in the resonant frequency as follows. And if we rearrange this, and if we add the two terms, we get minus 0.01 over 4 pi times root LC. Now we know that the frequency is 1 over 2 pi root L times C. So if we rewrite this expression as follows, we could say that the overall approximate change in the frequency is minus 0.005 times F4. And this represents a decrease of a half percent. 